All right, hi everyone, it's Dr. Tyler here. We got another dancer. I'm telling you, it's always the dancers. The dancers have the worst spines in the world. Their spines are super flexible, super strong, but at the same time, super tight. This dancer specifically, she, she kind of injured her shoulder. It's a pretty significant injury and she didn't even know. She knew that something was wrong, but the severity of the injury is probably something that would require surgery if she were like a professional athlete signed to a team. If she was a quarterback or a pitcher, they would do surgery right away. You know, there's not much I can do for that. I can give her some strengthening exercises, but pretty much I'm gonna go down the spine, take the tension out, try to make her just feel better in general. So, hope you enjoy. We got a dancer in the house. Worst spines ever but also so elegant, oh, <laughs> you know? But you break your body. So you hurt your shoulder, right? Yes. Let's see. Show me what you showed before. Um, I just kind of move it. You guys see all popping. of that? See, that is not supposed to happen. Look at her clavicle. Look at her collarbone. No, okay? Does it hurt at all when you do that? Only when I lift it, like above shoulder level. I mean, she's gonna need an MRI to see exactly what it is. Happened a month ago. It hurts when she sleeps on it, a little sore. That's a positive sign of um, a tear or some type of injury. How'd you do it again? Just dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, that happens all the time, right? Just dancing, you know? Break your body. Yeah. It seems like her clavicle and her acromion, they're supposed to attach. And it seems like they're not attached anymore. It's called an AC joint separation. I can feel it right here. It's probably grade three, which means that all of the things that hold those bones together are completely torn, which is why she can do that and there's not that much pain. If it wasn't torn all the way, those things would be getting crunched and they would hurt a lot. So keep that in mind. Surgery is an option. She can totally get away with this without doing surgery. It's gonna take a lot of rehab. It's gonna be annoying mm -hmm. for sure when you dance. I'm sure it already is. Definitely. And you can see her clavicle is just, it's lifted right here. So right here where it's supposed to be attached. Let's look at this side. Clavicle comes in, attaches right in here. It should be like a flat landing. That's how we memorize the acromion process in school. It's like a landing strip for like an airplane. You ain't landing shit on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, what kind of dance do you do? Um, I do hip hop. I train in heels. I train in breaking different foundations. Hmm. Can you do hip hop in heels? Yeah, for sure. So like, why do you differentiate those? Well, actually, no, that was a good question because heels is more of a skill, not a style. Let's see the trick question. By the way, I'm gonna play around and reset kind of her whole shoulder girdle area just to make sure the muscles aren't freaking out. Because that's usually what they do when there's an injury. The big muscles will start to take over um, and you know, things can go wrong. So that's what I don't want. Exactly I'm what you pointed at, this one and this one right here and a couple over here are like very much overworking and painful right now. Perfect. Okay. Good job, good job. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Let's try this, actually. I'm gonna have you do just kind of like a, a circle. Go ahead, okay. let's do it again. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around for the audience. This is like an ACL tear for your shoulder. She tore her ACL. You can think of it like that. It is very common for people to not know that they even tore their ACL. They injure it, it swells, and then after that, it's just kind of wobbly. And they're just like, oh yeah, it like, it clicks when I do this. You know, it like, it like, like wobbles and stuff. And then same thing with her. She's like, oh yeah, look at my shoulder. <laughs> but you know, there are a lot of people who still live their life and they have an ACL tear and they don't even know. So this is something that you know, she can deal with without surgery. But you know, in major news, pro athletes just get it surgically repaired right away. That is an option too. So we just broke up some of this oh, yeah. tissue, got her body used to my hands really quick. Dancers, very flexible ligaments, very strong uh, interspinal muscles. Completely opposite 
to the normal like desk worker person that I see. Very bouncy everywhere, but you try to move it side to side and the muscles catch it. It's an interesting feeling that I only feel from gymnasts and dancers. It's pretty cool. I nerd out all the time. Okay, we're gonna get in here. Not gonna feel good. All right, let's get in here. So we're in here, I'm breaking my thumbs again. I feel it in my hands. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm pressing right here and she feels it in her hands. That usually means a good spot. Okay, we got a nice spot right here. It's kind of moving around, so we gotta pin it. If you have something like this, and you see a chiropractor that does shoulder adjustments, do not go to them for a shoulder crack. The last thing you want to do is make it more unstable. People come in all the time, their wrist is like wobbling around. They like injured it in a car accident and they're like, oh, I saw a chiropractor crack someone's wrist. Can you do that for me? I'm just like, <laughs> why would you want to do that? It's like the complete opposite of what you want to do. We're in here just external rotators here. Actually, it feels pretty good. Is this okay in your shoulder? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. So that'll help reset the shoulder blade area here. Check here. So this hip? Yeah, this one. Seems a little tighter up here. Let's give it a yank. I'm kind of looking like right here. Mm -hmm. So when I when I pull, it's it's not really doing much there. So Get a little yank. Me oh too. shit. Let go. Oh, freaking flex butter neck is it's insane. Mm -hmm. We're right on the sacrum here. Ooh. Good. That was loud. Oh, that was good. Good job. Right on SI. Right there. Good. So we're gonna need to do PT, but this is something that like, you know, unfor if I wish I could just like pop it back in, you know? She needs to either, you know, it's either gonna be the surgery route or it's gonna be, you teach your brain and your body how to work with it. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that without constantly making it work under load with weight. Mm -hmm. So the brain's like, oh, okay, I gotta just do it like that. You know what I mean? Rather than just icing it, massaging it, cracking it, it doesn't do anything to the brain. The brain's just like, oh, well, I still don't know how to use it. Like, what do I do? You just keep telling it to shut up. Keep taking pain kills, pain killers. Is this okay on your cheeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out here. Let me know when it starts to feel like a nice stretch. I feel it. Good. And just try to let your tailbone slide down. Oh my God. Damn, lift down. That was solid. <sighs> Whoa, <laughs> that was insane. I know, crazy. Yeah, that's gonna fix your shoulder too. <laughs> Just to imagine. All right, your shoulder's I dead. wish. Okay, let me help you out. Good job. Did great. Oh, thank you. Perfect.